this is a misguided tour of Dearborn, Michigan. This is the Council Building, which stands for the College of Arts, Sciences, and Letters. It's set up so that the ground floor is mostly classrooms, and the second floor is mostly math faculty offices, which gives you an idea of just how big a priority math is for this school. They put all of the other disciplines above it. Here's the Mardigian Library, our main library. Its collection contains 200,000 books. Well, actually 199,999 books, since I may or may not have lost their copy of Abbott's Understanding Analysis. We're very excited about a new building on campus, even though it's a lab building for the engineering college. I guess they needed more chalkboard space to work out their small angle approximations or something. This is the parking structure that's full most of the time. That is, it's not always full, not it's not always a parking structure. It's like, it's always a parking structure. This is the UM Dearborn Food Court. Reasonably priced, but it's a bit of a hike since they built it on the other side of the mall across the road. This is the Ford World Headquarters. Every car in the parking lot is a Ford. It's a job requirement that you drive one here. It makes you think, if that's all there is to it, then why hasn't Amazon gotten back to me about my job application yet? I'm like their number one customer. That over there is the Fairlane. It's the old estate of Henry Ford. Frank Lloyd Wright was one of the famous architects who worked on the design of the Ford family's 15th house. That's right, 15 houses. If you were to line them all up right next to each other, it would be like one really big house that wasn't designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. This is the Automotive Hall of Fame. But let's be honest, if I wanted to look at cars that aren't safe to drive on the road anymore, I wouldn't have to go further than my own driveway. This is the Westbourne Market where my friends and I like to hang out before the quarantine. Uh, they have great prices, I'm not gonna lie, but it's mostly because of the small town environment plus the energy of a coffee shop that keeps us coming back. Rome is an excellent place for burgers. They have those vegan impossible burgers. I tried one once and couldn't tell the difference from a regular salad. Uh, here's Common Grace Coffee Company. Uh, it is in fact a coffee shop, but it doesn't have a small town feel, so let's move on. This is a parking structure downtown that's free all the time. That is, you never have to pay to get in. Not that they're having a parking garage sale. That doesn't make sense. What? I don't know what you thought I meant. Legend has it that Dearborn Public Library is haunted by the ghost of Henry Ford. I never knew the guy, but I doubt that an engineer has ever spent that much time in a library. 